Hello, my name is Carlos Boganegra, and I am a PhD candidate at the Genesis Lab at Northeastern University. And at Mobicom, I'll be discussing RFCO, which is a seamless cell checkout system for apparel stores using RFID. This work was a joint collaboration between Northeastern University and NEC Laboratories America, and I would like to give many thanks to the staff at NEC for their support and guidance. Our work is driven by the fact that the current checkout process has become a major pain point for customers and is far from providing an ideal or even desirable checkout experience. Studies have reported that one out of every four customers is not satisfied with the process. Or even worse, around 13% of the total customers switch stores based on this factor alone. This bad experience doesn't only impact customers, it also impacts retail companies since customer dissatisfaction at the moment of checkout leads to revenue losses, as the studies have shown. The issue stems from the barcoding technology and its optical nature, which requires customers to retrieve the items from their baskets, scan them one by one, and put them back into their baskets. This turns the checkout into a tedious and long process. To provide a customer with a better checkout experience, we believe a checkout system must host the following features. There should be no need for manual intervention, either from a staff member or the customer. The checkout area has to be large enough to easily accommodate the customer and all his products. The checkout area also needs to be unbarricaded, as in no entry or exit door, which provides a more convenient and aesthetic design. And finally, the checkout should be fast and completed in a time comparable to of the time of payment. One of the alternative technologies that big retailers are betting on is RFID, a technology that uniquely identifies products using RFID tags, similar to barcoding. The advantage is that it does not require line of sight with the items as it uses radio frequency communications. This helps reading items in a longer range at a higher speed. Although it represents a cost-effective alternative and eases the human intervention, it also imposes some challenges. For instance, some tags may lie within a blind spot and hence become unreadable. Blind spots are generated due to a low received power of the tag and adversarial orientation of the tag's antenna with respect to the reader's antenna or coupling with materials such as water or metal. Another big issue is the elevated number of collisions between the tags during the channel axis, as it reduces the reading rate and could lead to a longer checkout time. And lastly, the system needs to reliably assess whether the detected items belong to the te user checking out or other users in the store or just other available items placed nearby the checkout area. This relates to tag localization, which is a particularly difficult problem in indoor areas given the multipath effect in the wireless channel. RFGO performs checkout within a dedicated area, hosting a single customer and their basket or cart in it, while others wait outside. Its physical structure comprises two side walls and multiple sensors and antennas in it. The multiple antennas are coordinated using a custom-built RFID reader, a first-of-its-kind RFID reader that uses simultaneous multi-antenna reception to increase upon the reading and discovery rate. RFGO is capable of identifying all the items and only the items of the customer taken out using a supervised learning classifier with features from our multiple multi-antenna reader. We implemented a fully functional version of RFGO and tested the performance using commercial RFID tags under realistic store-like deployments. Our tag classification method achieves high levels of accuracy, reporting over 99% precision and recall rates. In summary, RFGO provides customers with a fast, reliable, and seamless checkout experience, and our results demonstrate that it is mature for practical deployments. We implemented our custom-built reader in new radio by substantially extending the code in one. The block diagram is shown in the center figure. We use a total of four user PX310 radios equipped with two twin RX and UBX daughter boards for data transmission and reception over the UHF RFID band. The system achieves frequency and time synchronization by means of an octoclock, which connects to every radio. We also interface the GNU radio application with an external Raspberry Pi model, acting as a microcontroller to select the active transmitter port in an analog multiplex. The GNU radio application also extracts features such as the RSS on, this, on the signals received simultaneously by different receivers. These features are, ne uh, are then used by the classifiers to assess the localization of the tags. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I look forward to your questions during the conference.